Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to my channel, Astronomy. Uh, today, my video is dedicated to my mother because the planet about whom I am going to talk about represents mother in Vedic astrology. Yes, you may have guessed it right. I am going to talk about Moon, one of the most important planets in your Kundli. As you might be knowing that uh, Moon is a, a female planet and uh, it also represents water. Just like in our body, 70% of our body constitutes of water. Likewise, a good Moon in your Kundli it directs all your energies, your emotions, your sensitivities in the right path. It constitutes the, you can say, the main, it's the main constituent of your horoscope if it is placed well. The prescribed gem for moon is white pearl. The prescribed day in the weekday is Monday. You should worship Lord Shiva if your moon is debilitated. Uh, the time taken by moon to orbit from where it started and completing the zodiac signs, it is 27 days. Uh, <clears throat> in Vedic astrology, mostly all our friends, all the planets are friends with moon, but it has its enmity with Mercury. A well-placed moon in your chart will give you a stable mind, peace, Harmony, happiness from mother, love and affection from mother, stable mind towards turbulent times. Whereas a debilitated moon in your horoscope will give you a fickle mind, depression, loss of happiness from mother or an early demise of your mother. Although moon is a female planet, but uh, there are many similarities between Moon and Lord Krishna and Moon is supposed to be, it is said to be the incarnation of Lord Krishna. There are many reasons for that, especially on the similarities. Uh, it is said that uh, Moon was married to the 27 daughters of King Daksh Prajapati. These 27 daughters were later known as the 27 nakshatras, the Hast nakshatra, the Rohini nakshatra, Uttarafada nakshatra and Lord Krishna also had approximately 16,000 queens. So both of them had large families. Another similarity is that Lord Krishna always came as savior to many people, be it uh, Draupadi while Cheer Haran or Sudama during his bad time or uh, protection of the general public from Kans or even Narkasur. Likewise, since in Vedic astrology, mother is also represented by moon, mother always protects her child from the evils. Also as moon grows, moon grows from the um, Amavasya to Purnima uh, in different days and hence completing 27 days, it grows by, brighter by the day. Likewise, Lord Krishna uh, also grew brighter and stronger as his age as he grew up. Like I said, moon in Vedic astrology represents your mother. It represents your emotions, your mind, your sensitivity, your mental strength. Uh, it also represents your mental disposition, goddesses Gauri, uh, getting a job, soft clothes, milk, dairy products and attributes of mind. It also is related to phobias and diseases related with water. Now let us understand the few yogas which moon creates with its conjunction with different planets. So first I will talk about a very auspicious yoga which is found in many horoscopes which is called as the Gaj Kesri Yoga. As the name suggests Gaj which means elephant and Kesri to some people means lion and to some people it means Sona that is gold. So having fortune 
लाइक एलिफेंट गज केसरी योग हैविंग फॉर्चून लाइक एलिफेंट एंड वेल्थ ऑफ गोल्ड सो गुड फॉर्चून एंड गुड वेल्थ आर द इंडिकेटर्स ऑफ गज केसरी योग बट हाउ दिस योग इज फॉर्म्ड दिस योग इज फॉर्म वेन लॉर्ड बृहस्पत लॉर्ड जुबिटर इज कंजंक्ट विद मून एंड इफ द कंजंक्शन इज लेस दैन टेन डिग्रीज देन दिस कंजंक्शन इज सपोज टू बी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग बट इफ दिस कंजंक्शन इज मोर देन टेन डिग्रीज देन इट इज सपोज टू बी वीक मोर ओवर इफ दिस कंजंक्शन आर इन द फोर केंद्रज ऑफ द हॉरोस्कोप द फोर केंद्रज आर द फर्स्ट हाउस द फोर्थ हाउस द सेवेंथ हाउस एंड द टेंथ हाउस देन इट गिवस मच बेटर रिजल्ट एंड ऑल्सो लाइक आई सेट द कंजंक्शन शुड बी लेस दैन टेन डिग्रीज दिस योगा actually removes all the obstacles from your life and it gives you enormous wealth enormous properties gaj elephant used to be the savari or the mode of transport in the ancient times so if we were to relate it to the modern times a person with gaj kesari yog today will have luxurious cars and many cars big and palatial houses and excellent fortune some of the people who are born uh, under ganj gaj kesari yog and some of the famous people are amitabh bachchan hrithik roshan nes wadia jamna lal bajaj and many more gaj kesari yog is also formed if jupiter is placed fourth seventh or in the 10th house of your horoscope from where the moon is placed so if the moon is placed in your 8th house and jupiter is placed in your 11th house that is 8th 9th 10th 11th that is 4th house from where moon is placed then that is also considered to be a gaj kesari yog another very auspicious yog is the mahalakshmi yog how does mahalakshmi yog happen it happens when moon conjuncts with mars that is mangal people with this yog uh, normally are in the professions of hospitality large hotels restaurants export and import industry this also shows a very strong relationship with your mother and other interpersonal relationship with people in the society uh, moon represents the north western node uh, in the universe and also in your house and uh, like i said that moon represents your mind your emotions your sensitivity whereas mars represents the soldier the warrior your inner motivation uh, your strength uh, your aggression your anger your passion so what does this conjunction do this person who has a conjunction of mars and moon will actually become a go getter related to his aspiration and ambition he will go uh beyond his leaps and boundaries to achieve something he will have that determination many people have dreams but a person with this yog will have the determination to go that extra mile and achieve that but the negative side of this conjunction may have uh, some bad or abusive relationship with your mother and uh, that person may also indulge in some extreme perversion this conjunction in second house will make the ascendant extremely rich and fortunate because second house also represents the wealth family's wealth accumulated wealth your bank balance your family life so this conjunction in second house is supposed to be extremely auspicious uh, a lot of horoscopes in which i have seen this conjunction in the second house that ascendant also receives a lot of money through inheritance if this conjunction is uh, placed in the ninth house of the horoscope and as we know that the ninth house is supposed to be the house of father religion good deeds ethics so that person will always be driven with correct ethics he would like to do any work with rules and regulations in a proper ethical manner so this conjunction in second and ninth house is supposed to be very good uh and uh, it also gives very favorable results in 10th and 11th house 10th being the house of career and work environment and 11th house being the house of 
uh, ekadash bhav that is profit and income uh, it may give unfavorable results in 6th 8th and 12th houses of one horoscope but generally when these are this yoga is there in anybody's kundli it actually brings lot of prosperity uh, fortune and wealth in one's life the other two yogs which i am going to talk about which is made because of moon are not very auspicious the one is called as kemadrum yog kemadrum yog is formed in your kundli when moon is found in isolation what does it mean it means that the two houses on both sides of moon that is on the left hand side and on the right hand side there is no planet at all then kemadrum yog uh, is formed or if rahu and ketu are placed next to the moon then also kemadrum yog is formed so why rahu and ketu ne sitting next to the moon is formed because actually rahu and ketu are not planets in the solar system they are actually the shadow planets that is a chaya grah so it basically leaves the moon in isolation kemadrum yog means that uh, once in a lifetime uh you may lose your wealth and your peace of mind at least once in your lifetime you will be robbed of your earned wealth you you will lose everything uh it is not only uh, related to wealth it is also related largely with your mental peace and since moon is a representation of mother kemadrum yog in one's kundli may also result in an early or a sad demise of is or her mother uh in one of my videos i have already mentioned you the remedies but i will in this video also i'll tell you the remedies of a debilitated moon or a moon uh in um, making a yoga of kemadrum but it happens once in your lifetime and it's supposed to be uh, in auspicious yoga this yoga comes into play largely during the moon mahadasha or the moon antardasha so be very careful because the moon mahadasha lasts for 10 years in your life span and uh, uh, if you are having kemadrum yoga in your kundli and if you are facing that moon mahadasha then you may face some troubles related to this particular yoga and at that point of time you should definitely consider an astrologer uh, the other yoga uh, uh, which is there is not very auspicious is called as a grahan yoga that is when rahu and moon are conjunct together this uh, yog this conjunction makes a person uh, extremely inquisitive or uh, uh, excited and he is very anxious to know about the things uh, people with grahan yog also behave very childlike and immature even when they grow up that child is there in them and they they are not very mature in their uh, you know in their language or in their conversations or in their dialogues uh, these people are extremely sensitive in nature and uh, uh, they will feel bad about uh, little things they will feel bad about somebody's rude language and it has a very deep impact on them this conjunction that is rahu and moon uh, gives negative effects in third and ninth houses people may get imaginative fear uh, because of this conjunction that is kalpanik bhay Uh, this conjunction in the twelfth house of your horoscope may make the person successful if that person is working in isolation with, from their family. So the family is in Delhi and he is working in, suppose, United States. He is staying there alone. Normally, it is seen that he will do very well if he is staying away from the family. If he is in isolation, he does not socialize much. He is in his own research. He is in his own world. So people with Grahan Yog staying in isolation. and people with this yog especially in the 12th house are found to be successful uh if of course if this yog is there in the 7th house which is the house of marriage and partnership then you have to be ultra careful about it so these are some of the yogs which uh, uh, moon uh, makes it happen now we'll also talk about uh, the results of moon in the 3rd house the third house house of your horoscope what does it indicate the third house of your horoscope it shows your parakram it is a parakram sthan um, it also shows your younger siblings your sisters and brothers and uh, it also shows speech and communication so if moon is there 
in this third house then it shows that that person uh, will be extremely having a you know great command over his speech he'll be an excellent orator he would like to be associated with the news he'll be a great writer he'll be a great producer he'll be a great film actor he will be uh, a great social activist and since moon is related to mother the mother of such a person will also be very uh, good in communication or very fond of communicating or responding to people in today's context in terms of whatsapp or in terms of uh, sms or a video call or a zoom call even the mother becomes very active if the moon is placed in your third house in modern context if moon is placed in your third house uh, it also gives you an opportunity to earn money in the field of web series or writing content on social media or uh, having that knack of writing good and creative things for social media you will have social media engagement if moon is placed in the third house of course there should not be any drishti of uh, mangal or any other planet because otherwise it will make the speech and communication of that ascendant extremely rude so that's about the results of moon in the third house uh, i would also like to talk about moon in vrishchik rashi that is moon in scorpio as we know that the eighth house is a house of uh, uh demise mm, it is house of a demise and ending and it also house of a start moon in eighth house uh, is very good for people who are researchers who are scientists people who are detectives uh people who work in forensic department uh or people who are related to occult sciences like tantra or vastu or astrology or palmistry or even numerology moon in 8th house uh, makes these people access some knowledge about occult sciences or any such science which is not available to the common man and hence they become special in the society because they have this education they have this knowledge either by inheritance or through their own research which makes them rise above the crowd so moon in 8th house scorpio is special in that way but otherwise moon is supposed to be debilitated or in hindi what we call as moon becomes nichka in scorpio moon becomes debilitated in scorpio and hence sometimes it gives depression to that native and that native may also become indecisive in nature that native may also have a strained relationship with his mother that native's mother may also not keep very well uh, in terms of her health um so these are some of the results about moon in the 3rd house moon in the 8th house generally 6th 8th and 12th houses if the placement is there of moon it is not supposed to be auspicious and let me tell you one thing that there may be hundreds of raj yogas in your kundli but if your moon is debilitated it will not allow the raj yog to give 100% result in your life uh adolf hitler had a fantastic horoscope he ruled over germany for several years he was a king of germany we can say the king because he was a dictator but ultimately he died in a very unnatural way so it was a typical case of a very strong horoscope versus a wrong time ultimately what makes a person commit suicide it is that weak mind which uh, directs or influences you and then ultimately you commit such a crime so uh, a, a debilitated moon uh, versus a very strong chart is a very vast subject to discuss it cannot be summed up in few minutes i will do that in some other video now i'll tell you uh, about some of the remedies to strengthen your moon some very simple remedies i will not go into that uh, much of mantras and all but yes since moon represents your mother please respect your mother touch her feet every day if she is staying with you speak to her if she is not staying with you but uh, take her blessings on a daily basis that will really strengthen your moon one two uh, as water is also represented by moon if you are drinking water in a glass never waste water never waste water always finish that glass and ensure that not a single drop of water is being wasted astrologically also this is correct otherwise this is our duty to our mother nature and keeping our environment safe and sound 
be sensitive to other people because sensitivity emotions mind everything is related with moon be sensitive to people especially people who are downtrodden in the society and especially people who are not gifted uh, with all the you know uh, with the best of the things in life so never be judgmental about them you never know that what circumstances they have gone through and that is why their situation is there they are in that canopy of darkness so if you give some light to them you can help them through whatever means is possible but never criticize them and as moon uh, represents the northwestern node of this universe and also in terms of vastu the northwest corner of your house if you have a debilitated moon try to keep a plant which uh, has white flowers like uh, jasmine in a small plot if uh, pot if you can keep it in the northwest part in your flat it will immensely help you um uh, and of course uh, like i said that if you can donate some money milk and uh, some food to elderly lady uh, on every monday that will uh, be really uh, helpful in curing your debilitated moon and the best of all like i say to many of my clients is that the everyday job of mahamrutunje is like putting money in your savings account so if you do mahamrutunje jap at least 108 times in a day it's very very beneficial for a debilitated moon so ladies and gentlemen this was a very small analysis of uh, moon and uh, i hope you liked it in case you have liked it please do subscribe my channel please do press the bell icon so that we stay connected and in case you require any personal consultation on your horoscope you are most welcome to reach me at 9742881188 till we meet again thank you and take care of yourselves thank you very much